All right, all right. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Nate. Nate's mad. Nate is mad. Before we get into this, this is obviously, as you can see, since nothing's moving, nothing's happening. We're, we're looking at some stuff that I recorded while I could not talk. And so this, this is actually a full, like, I don't know, 25, 30 minute video, something like that, of matches against this dude. We're not going to see all of them. No way in hell, because put purely in... I'll get into it in a second. The reason why I'm mad. Amazon. God damn it, you told me that I'd get Bloodborne today. Today's Tuesday. I guess I'll be posting this tomorrow, but still, I can post it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I was supposed to get Bloodborne the day it was released, and instead, now it's it's been updated the day... It's been saying ever since I ordered it, this will be shipped to you. You will get it on the release day by 8 p.m. And so now, finally, they emailed me. Oh, yeah, your estimated uh, date of you getting this is going to be Wednesday by 8 p.m. Fuck you, Amazon. Fuck you. This is why, I mean, because the reason why I got it, I never do this. I never really get, if I buy a game on Amazon, it's because it's a game that's already been released. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll buy it. Why not? And then I'll, I'll just kind of like get it if it's on a sale or something like that. I never really get release day games from any kind of online retailer. I just don't really do it. Unless, obviously, it's Steam and then it's a PC game. I don't buy physical copies of games online that much because of this. Because I want it right goddamn now. <laughs> I want it on the day that it's released. If I'm going to order a game for a release date, get me that game by the release date. Like, it's pathetic if you can't do that. Why am I ordering it from you? But, so the reason why I did it is because I, it's my own damn fault. My dumbass didn't go to um, to GameStop fast enough. for the, And by the time I got to GameStop to try and pre-order Bloodborne, they had closed off pre-orders for the collector's edition. I wanted the collector's edition. Amazon still had them, so that's why I got it from Amazon, and now, this is why I never fucking do this, because now I have to wait. Fuck you, Amazon, again. I will, as many times as I have to say it, fuck you, Amazon, pisses me off. So anyway, um, now for this game. Obviously, as we can see, just from the amount of matches played and the points and all that shit, I'm a little outclassed in terms of game experience here, but... As we're going to see, and the reason why I don't really want to show all of this off is because there are basically kind of like two types of players that can beat your ass. And the first of which is just they are just a good player. They are just straight up better than you. There's no question about it. And there's really nothing that you can do about it except work to improve. And then hopefully, you know, once you when you play against them, you are learning from them. You're tightening up your setups. You're learning how to block or beat their setups, block all that shit. And so eventually you climb to a point where now you are at a competitive level with them. And then you, as you play against them, you develop new things to account for them, for their old things not working anymore. And you just continue to climb higher up the ladder and get better and better and improve more and more with each other because you are constantly having to adapt to the other person getting better and the other person bringing new things to the table. That's the first one. And that those are the kind of people that you want to look for and play against as much as possible. Because they will be the people that will force you to improve. Or you're just going to get curb stomped all day long. And so those are generally the kind of people... Like, you know, like why you don't really see me stick around and play people very often uh, in long sets is because of that. Because there are very few of those types of people that exist in the world in general. But online it's even less and so then we get to the second type of player who which is i'm not trying to only shit on this dude because later on you're gonna see me doing the exact same thing the kind of person who is only good by virtue of their character who is only winning because their character's tools are so strong that it makes up for their own weakness as a player and there are a lot of people like this who and they're the kind of people that like you never really see doing anything. Like, they're a character loyalist or something. And you never hear about them. You never see them. They never do anything notable. And then a new version of the game comes out. And their character is now S tier. And suddenly they're blowing everybody up. They just come out. They seemingly come out of nowhere. And then once that character is, you know, nerfed. As is happening lately. Every Since there's a rebalance of every single game. Basically every year now. 
now they fade away again and they're no longer capable of doing things. That's what this dude does to me because he uses, you can't see it yet, but this dude uses Waldstein against my Nanase. I will never use Nanase against Waldstein again. That is a bullshit matchup. Oh my God. So I'm just going to start playing this right now so we can start seeing it. Uh, I may need to turn this up a bit. That is not what I want. I don't know what the hell. Oh, yes, that is what I wanted to do. All right. But so like this, oh, I really, this matchup infuriated me. He basically, that move right there, that move, that's all this dude does. Almost like 80% of the time, that's all this dude does is jump and use that move. Nanase has no answer for it. She really doesn't. I cannot air to air him. It's not... Nanase's air range is not enough to be capable of dealing with that. And so this, is, like I said, this guy is not somebody that is like... I just have no answers at this point. This is the first Waldstein I've ever played. I can already tell you with absolute certainty that Nanase is at a significant disadvantage against this character. See how easily he just hopped over that? That killed me. Seeing that projectile be so entirely ineffective was absolute it, it sucked life it, i i regretted my every decision see like that i don't think i ever managed to hit him with that projectile once he just hops over every single one and then just throws out that one move and there's nothing i can do about it that sucks and so basically like i'm not trying to like shit talk this matchup in general and say it's like it's an impossible matchup and i'm losing an impossible matchup it absolutely is not However, you have to play in a manner that I don't want to play. You also have to work significantly harder just by virtue of the character matchup, the character strengths of Waldstein versus the character strengths of Nanase. You have to work significantly harder as Nanase. Basically, the entire point is you cannot be in Waldstein's range ever as Nanase and be able to do anything. If you are in Waldstein's range, you are at his mercy because... She has no good anti-air, which is the biggest problem here. Like I said, this guy is basically just hopping and doing the same exact move over and over again. Nanase has no answer for that. Her DP is only good against potential cross-ups, not against... Um, and so as we see right there, he just hops over again. That's my own fault. Like, I should be able, at least on Wake Up Oki, I should be able to air-to-air -air that. As you can see right there, I just missed. I don't really understand Waldstein's hurt box. It is a little... Like, for a character that's that big... His hurt box is pretty fucking weird. I don't really... It, there were a lot of times where Nanase's sword kind of just swung right through him. But so, number one in this matchup with Nanase. Never be in the air. Ever, never, ever, ever, ever go in the air. Waldstein... You have no answer to Waldstein's air-to-airs. You will never beat them. You will never do anything to them. You will just get your day fucked up endlessly. Right there, I didn't know he had a reversal. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever played against a Waldstein, so I don't know this character's tools. I don't know what he's got. I don't know that his goddamn stupid-ass command grab has, like, a half-screen range. That's some bullshit. <laughs> that got me salty. But see right there, I try to, he just jumps over it, and I try to do something as an answer for it, and I just get popped in the face. I have no answer for that. The only answer that Nanase has in this matchup is whiff. Getting in on whiff, and not even whiff punishing. He's he's too he can stand far enough away that you can't even whiff punish with this character. The best you can hope for is making the character whiff and then using that to dash in and put him in block stun at least. That's the best you can hope for, and then hope you have mix up from there. But the problem is, Nanase doesn't really have significantly strong mix up. She has good pressure, but she doesn't really have good mix up, and so that makes this matchup extremely difficult. So I'm just gonna skip by the rest of this shit skip by the ass beatings that I eat. I believe this should be... Okay, okay. So now, I shouldn't be showing this match because it is absolutely... I'm just going to pause it right here so I can introduce it. This is why I'll pro... I mean, granted, I have very little experience, so I don't really have, like, the mindset of, you know, this is how I play each character. This is what I need to do with each character. I'm not experienced enough yet to be able to switch between them. And so, when I try to fight this, and you're going to see it... I completely forget how to Gordo. I completely forget how to, like, his normals, which are good for what. I completely forget how to combo with this character. I forget everything. And life sucks. See right there. Like, what the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. But, like, against this player... So, against a player like this, and this is my biggest tip. 
than I can grant to online in general. You can beat, no, I would say 90% of people online, you can blow up solely by doing meaties. No mix, don't bother with mix up, don't give a sh don't do anything that can get you hit by a wake up like 5A, a wake up jab, a wake up 2, you know, whatever the, fa like a fast mashable poke is, do not do anything that can get blown up by that. Because the majority of people will just hit that move and they will get destroyed by meaties. And this is the type of player that exactly exemplifies my point. As you can see, I got it with a counter hit and then I forgot how to do combos. Then he woke and then, then he got hit and he woke up with another move. Like this, that is the kind of people, this is the kind of person you will run into the majority of the time. And so my biggest problem when playing online is that I want to mix people up. I want to do, you know, fancy, fun things. I want to mind fuck you. But that shit doesn't work against people that will just mash on Wake Up. You can't do that. All, if I had, and you actually kind of start doing it eventually, if all you do on somebody's Wake Up like this is just like, for instance, with Gordo, if all I did was Wake Up, I mean, do 5C on his Wake Up, I would hit him every single time because all this dude ever does is either hold up or mash a button. He never does anything else. And it's very sad that, like, that's my method to get wins here. But it works. See, as you can see, I'm still I'm still not comboing correctly. That was my mistake. So as one of you mentioned, and as I did, I knew about it. But I'm just, I'm not good at doing it yet because it feels weird. So obviously, this, like, similarly to Persona 4 Arena, in this game, um, there are... Uh, every character you can just hit A and they'll go through a chain of attacks and so Gordo's A if you do 5 AA technically he does 5 A 5 B that's what exact he does the exact same move as 5 B but he, obviously you're not actually doing 5 B you're doing 5 AA but that doesn't register appropriately in my head and so I'm like, oh, okay, so right here I want to do 5B, 5A, 5B. Because that's what comes out. And so a lot of the times when I try to do 5B, 5AA, because that's a very strong block string with Gordo. It's very good. Um, so that's what I tried to do right there. I tried to do uh, that, not expecting that. That Giving that range, that also has invincibility. Giving that to a grappler is one of the dumbest decisions ever. See? Dumbest decisions ever made giving that to a grappler. Fuck whoever made that decision. Um, but yeah, so a lot of what you saw me do right there to get back to the point is that I tried to do 5B, 5A, 5B, which doesn't work. You can't do that in a... Um, excellent on my part. You can't do the same move twice in a block string. It's complete... The only ones that sometimes that works is usually 2 -way. Somebody's 2A is usually the one that you can uh, do multiple times in a block string. I forgot the combo right there because I'm, I'm not smart. But that's all I need to do. Like, in this matchup, and, and this is why I kind of said, like, this will be the last one that I show off. I, I don't even know if I win here or not. Um, but all that it is, again, in this matchup, it is just me relying upon my character's strengths. Rather than me being any good, I am just relying on the fact that I can out-bullshit him in this matchup. And I do actually end up winning more than I lose with Gordo. I think I went like 3-2 and two against this guy, which included that first match, which was just absolutely goddamn terrible. So, anyway, so let, me, let, me, let me undo this. Let me go into a new video. Let me go into this video, which should be more fun. This is not me as Gordo, by the way, just in case you couldn't see that. Let me actually just make sure that worked. Did that work? Are we working? We're working! I'm so happy. I'm so glad this works. Um, so this is another lobby. This was, happened later in the night. And I tried to use um, Nanase again. I'm trying to make Nanase work, but honestly, using Nanase is just... If you remember what I said about like the initial reason why I wasn't going to get Unil. The reason why I didn't want to get the game was because it seemed like against certain characters, you were basically hopeless. Like if you did not pick one of these characters, if you did not pick a Yuzuriha, a Hilda, Gordo, Waldstein, or Merkava, 
you were at a significant disadvantage because you didn't have that access to the neutral tools they have, which can cover like two thirds or more of the screen. Which is absurd, and that's how I'm feeling the Nase. Like in any other fighting game I have ever played, the Nase's neutral tools would be fantastic. Her 2C is amazing. The only thing, again, that she's really significantly lacking is a viable anti air because her DP. Her DP is great against somebody that's like jumping right on your head. Sucks against anything else. And so because she doesn't have a good anti air, it's quite easy to just stay in the air and just hop around her without a single problem. But other than that lack of an anti air in any other fighting game, again, that I have ever played, she would have ex an extremely strong neutral game. 5C is good, 5B is amazing, 2C is amazing. Uh, the potential for whiff punishing with her little 236A uh, moves is there, and it's very strong. Her 236B is actually quite fast, and so it really would be a good... Even just doing 2C into 236B would be a fantastic whiff punish tool in any other game. In this game... I can't do anything. I, I really feel like I cannot do anything to not to get in against character against all the characters that I listed. I just do not know what to do. And hi, Royvis! I do answer this and watch me being a dumbass here. I thought I'm in a fucking lobby of five people. Surely I'm not going to be the one up next. Watch the background. Oh, hey, look at me. I'm up next. I didn't actually notice this until I was like... Well, how long did this take me? See? I'm all the way here, and it finally replaced me. And now this person is idle. They're thinking, oh, hey, surely that asshole's not going to be idle. So now they're idle, and it has to get me. But anyway, read this. Get all your friends into this damn game so I can find people to play. The the It's just there's not a lot of people playing this game, and I want there to be. I want there to be a lot of people. Oops, 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 oops. We went too far. So as you're going to see me right here, like, I, I don't know what to do in this matchup. I really don't. I try to whiff punish certain things. I try to kind of, like, stay above that kind of stuff. I am slowly realizing that projectile is absolutely almost useless. Especially against matchups like this one where, like, Yuzuriha... Matchups like Waldstein, Yuzuriha... Against Gordo, it would actually be quite useful because Gordo doesn't have any, like, far-reaching air-to-air tools. Um, so if he hops over it, I can potentially air-to-air -air him with... Nanase, that is a viable... I can definitely see myself managing to do that. Versus matchups like this one where Yuzuriya can just hop over it like that. She can just hop over it and throw out one of those massive fucking sword hits. And there's really nothing I can do about it. Like right there. What do I do? I really don't know what to do against characters like that. And I, it really feels almost hopeless as Nanase, and I don't want to feel almost hopeless. And that was a mistake. <laughs> That's me trying to do 2-3-6-A and then into C, but I miss, I hit the A button too quickly, and so then it t instead it evaluates me as doing that, uh, doing 2-3-6-C. See, I do it again. Gotta tighten up my execution. Because you don't want to do that. Like, I don't know why they didn't make 236C, like, capable of being followed up. Or maybe I'm just missing something. I don't know. But that's one of the main things you want to do with Nanase right there that you just saw me do where I hit A after the Cs. Uh, I'm not sure how it is. That's the big... Let me actually go back to that real quick. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. I think I went too far back. Nope. Right here. That right there. Did you see how little of the screen that two three that j236a took i thought that would be viable like so for people that are just hopping like this person and are staying in the air at a distance and trying to beat me up from there i thought that would be my viable alternative to like basically say yo you can't stop staying in the air stay grounded fight me stop hopping around and making and making me try to chase you like that i thought that was my answer but it doesn't cover enough screen it doesn't do what I thought it would do. And so, like, all of the tools that I thought she had that would allow me to fight in these various matchups are not as strong as I initially believed them to be. And so because of that, I'm really just kind of like, I'm really down on Nanase right now. I'm really not feeling it. Like, I want to continue uh, that matchup. So this person, unfortunately, was very... No, actually, was it? 
I think in this matchup, I'm trying to remember. I think this person was really laggy. Maybe not. Let's just watch it. I don't know. I know it was laggy for me, and you'll see spots where it is very obviously laggy, but it looks fine for this guy. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very down on Nanase, and I'm just not feeling that character right now. Because I don't want to feel, like, practically hopeless in the neutral game against so many characters. It's a strong projectile. He does have a good projectile game, I guess. Her and Hilda, basically the only two. But yeah, I know how much, I know how much Gordo is probably hated in general, but I really just, I don't think I can play without, again, like I said with Seth. Without engaging in significantly more effort than I really care to put in, I can't play Nanase. And it's not like an executional thing, but it's just... No matter what I do in so many matchups with that character, I am going to have to work so much harder than any opponent that I face. And especially when you look at it right now in the vacuum of people that are available to play... Almost everybody that I play, I think it's later in this video actually, you see, I believe I run up against a 3,000 plus games played Gordo, and I just get my ass handed to me. Yeah, it's this, I think it's the uh, K Kazusa, I think that's who it is, maybe, possibly. I get my ass backhanded. No effort required on this dude's part. <laughs> And so when you're up against, like, the kind of people that are still playing this game are generally the people that already imported the game and have played hundreds, if not thousands, of matches. I am at a disadvantage matchup experience-wise, along with at a disadvantage. See, as you can see, this person is like, yo, this motherfucker's hella weak. Let me pick this character I don't know how to play. I can blow up people that do that. No fucking problem. Like, anybody with an even slightly comparable games played to me, I can blow up. I generally, I have almost never lost to anybody with less than 200 games played. Kind of, you know, blowing myself up right there. I'm godlike, right? But no, it's just, I have no problem against people that are inexperienced and just mash. But the moment you run up against somebody that just blocks, what does Nanase do? Oh yeah, see, like right there, you can see it's laggy for me, unfortunately. So I do miss a lot of things. This person obviously misses a lot of things. But yeah, this is definitely just not... I don't know. I really just don't see how I can make Nanase viable without basically only trying to stay out of everybody's range and then going in and then putting somebody in block stun. Except the problem is, again, what do you do once you have somebody in block stun with Nanase? The character doesn't really have mix-up. Not really! Because right there with the 6-6-B six, six, or 6-6-C, six, six, that's kind of a ghetto mix-up. Except the problem is you can't do anything after that. Like, you can't... If they block it, you're unsafe. And you're going to get punished for that. So it's a very... It's a significant risk if you're doing that without the, two, three, the J236B projectile behind it. And obviously I can't have that. And the problem with that is that if I have the J236B out there... And I go for one of those dash moves. You can hop over that. And so that's basically the question. Is this person going to stay grounded? Or are they going to try to jump? If they jump, I can punish it very easily with an air to air. And I can get a full combo off of it. And do very well off of that. Which is very good for me. So yeah, as you can see, 3,070 total fucking games with Gordo. I'm about to get my ass kicked. <laughs> um, But yeah, so... I really, I just don't see any truly viable way to really play Nanase that maintains a constant sense of fun. 
where like I have to be really focused and serious about every single match in order to get anywhere with it versus just you know sitting down and just playing the game and en enjoying myself and that's not safe every character not every character in the game Gordo certainly can blow me the fuck up for doing that I tried to I tried to DP right there and I tried to DP right there too I don't know why I'm bad I'm I don't know if maybe her DP like might be besides the C version maybe it's not invulnerable but they would get a counter hit if it came out at all and again it just didn't come out right there so yeah see I try I tried to confirm I tried to confirm but I didn't get it and that's what happens when the 6 C doesn't go. but yeah so anyway if you do run up if you are a very rare person and you run up against the Nase see it finally comes out and it's the one goddamn time he blocks ain't that a bitch um but so uh what am I what am I what am I trying to what am I trying to say oh if you run up against the Nase and they ever do that to you they ever do the Two, three, six, A on the ground or B, and they do the C follow up. That is punishable. You can you can whiff punish that. There's nothing I can do about it. So hit buttons if you see the little dash through thing. There's no reason not to. And I don't know why people are so damn scared. So I think this is very laggy for this player. And you can no. Maybe it's the next one. Let me let me just see. Let me just see. It is the one after that. He plays the player that I lagged against. And you can tell he just stops caring. And it's the same thing here. Unfortunately, this player was just very light. See, that's that that that's why I'm skipping all of these. That's why I'm skipping all of these. And then, unfortunately, again, so like it's just like I just said, I can beat people that don't know how to play their characters. I'm oh, this was also a laggy matchup actually. So yeah. Oh, we can show this one off. This is where you actually see me, like, trying to learn some things. Like, I try to whiff punish this guy, I try to space him properly. See, it just blows my mind, like, why does the J236B travel the full screen, but the J236A only goes, like, two third. I mean, up, like... I'd say maybe 40% of it. You'll see me the first, I think the first round, I get blown up by those projectiles almost every single time. And then I figure out the timing. And I stop getting blown up by them. Learning in progress. See, I tried to whiff punish that, but I tried to do it late. I get blown up by the projectile. Mashing. <laughs> Pure and simple. That was just mashing. That was just bad on my part. Also bad on my part. I guess that actually wasn't even... Way to go. Way to finish your combos. But I guess that wasn't even really a punish. Didn't look like it. Also, for those of you who might say... Why the fuck are you doing that at the start of a match? Like, why the hell not? It's worked almost every time I do it. If I see somebody that's only just dashing forward at the start, or they're hitting a button, of course I'm gonna do that. <laughs> why would I not do that in a scenario where it's going to work? You might see it as scrubby, but like, nobody punishes it right now. I try to DP that. I remember every single occasion where I try to DP and it doesn't come out because it makes me angry. And you remember the moments when you're emotional. See, I thought he would keep dashing forward and he would dash right into that. He didn't. <laughs> Also, I definitely need to stop trying to air to air with JC. I need to use JB to try and air to air because JC is like a downward trajectory. JB is a forward trajectory. So I definitely need to be trying to do more of that. So I think is that it? I think that's it. I think I because that was the point in which. Oh no, never mind. 
Oh right, I play against this player, and there's no reason to show it. I don't do anything special. Nothing, nothing interesting happens, and then it comes up against the laggy player, and I'm done. So anyway, that that right there is is the two videos that I recorded where I got some matches, etc. Just wanted to throw this in. Just you know, give you something to watch, give you something to see, explain my current feelings regarding goddamn Nanase, and thinking that I might just be done with that character, and also to say fuck Amazon.com. Because seriously, how are you going to tell me we're going to get this to you on release day? You fucking pay. You pay us. I pay you. I lost the the viewpoint of where I was telling this story from. But anyway, I pay Amazon.com for fucking Amazon Prime. I should be getting some perks to this shit. But no, they can't get it to me on a release day. They got to give it to me the day after. So fuck you, Amazon. Makes me goddamn sad. Alright, I'm done.